What in the world is going on here? John's on the 50 cal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get, get the British car. Get the British car. Yeah, get him. Get away, hon. Get the British car. I'm letting him drive my car. <laughs> How'd it go? I saw. I was like, oh, James. Oh, and then it's John in the car. Dude, I'm rolling up the street, and out. I see the truck with the flag and the screams of America. In the front lawn? <laughs> well, we had a big, like, party here last night, and so many people were parking. So I was like, I'll just park in the yard. And then people also know they're in the right spot. Very so. good job, man. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Can we mount this on the McLaren? Yes. <laughs> We sure can. We are ready. Going to Cars and Coffee. Wow, everybody's here. Knivesdeal.com? Is that what you're plugging right now? Nice. The Dirty Max is still in the lawn. Uh, I have no sports cars, so I'm taking that. God. John found the guns. Well, it's all over. No one is safe. Nobody is safe oh, now. Oh, I found the pellets. Uh, sweet. Luckily, he needs CO2 to operate that one. Oh, my life is yeah. over. Hold yeah, we just I'm sorry, buddy. Is there CO2 here? Yeah, yeah. Knivesteel.com, check it out. <laughs> I already gave the plug. It's so ridiculous. I know, he already... I gave the plug. There's so many guns in the house now. <laughs> in a red light, like, I'm sorry, you said... Oh, <laughs> oh trading day! Yeah, exactly. Yes! Good reference, good reference. Wow, I can hear now. Yeah, thank you, guys. The charger uh, turned off. Here comes Never Late. Late, as always. <laughs> Oh, park in the street. <laughs> yeah, McLarens have to park in the street. I don't like this anymore. Especially this. <laughs> so I need to move. Oh, that's right. Darn it. Second he what came over here. What's going on right now? How do you feel about this? I feel like I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? To go? I, have I have too many dangerous things. <laughs> Big group behind us. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Austin. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Wow, great turnout today already. Goodness. Howdy. I brought a pretty sizable group with me today. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. If I didn't say that already, wow. Really good turnout. These events are becoming awesome, which if you guys don't know, it's Cars, Cops, and Coffee, put on by our local police department. And yes, I do bring my Duramax to the uh, police events, which haven't gotten pulled over yet, but you never know. And uh, they're really becoming pretty big. So keep an eye out on Instagram for updates and when they happen, but they're pretty cool. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me? What are you doing down there? What are you doing up there? <laughs> like, I can't even reach down to your mirror. <laughs> That's great. I do miss my McLaren for the event, but bringing the trunk is fun as well. Sure. It'll, be back. It'll be back soon. Well, not that one, oh, but, that one, but yeah. that's right. Yeah. What's up, buddy? It does appear that way, doesn't it? <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I think Turner's car is a little technically lower in the front. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit, the front nose. I don't think I've ever had them side by side. I don't think we ever had them either, side by side. I think side. you've tried to attempt to run over it one time. By the way, did you, oh, that's right, I did park yeah. like that. Did you notice my shirt, Troy? Yes, I did. I it's work for you. Shirt. I hope you appreciate it. Yeah, I do, thanks, man. I was like, you know what, I'm, I haven't seen Troy in months. I'm gonna see him today. I'm to putting you. on the Troy Sour shirt. Oh, I appreciate it. See, nobody will ever notice this, though. They just think it's a McLaren shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know, subtle. but like, look, look, that's how good it looks. Subtle, subtle detail. It's great. I haven't gotten sued. Yet. <laughs> you haven't gotten a cease and desist yet. <laughs> no, not yet. So we're pretty Which good. honestly is like kind of surprising because. Well, especially because you're wearing it. Like, I'm low. It I'm is nobody. the McLaren font. Like, well, I, it's it close. Is, I warped it Never a little mind, bit. Never mind, it's not yeah, the McLaren font. Never mind. It's the company font. What are you talking about? Well, then, even that's, that's probably worse. That's probably worse. Right. Cut that. I'm interested in being a project manager. It's going to benefit me to be a project. He's like, well, I got five people ahead of you. If they don't show up, wow. Like, right, it's coming along. It's the uh, STI that beat the Blazer in a race. Chef Boy Hardy. Hey, still not happy about that race, by the way. I'm still not happy about it. I know you were cheating. I know you were cheating. <laughs> it's nice. I see him driving around all the time. I love those. I love that. I love that style of STI. Windy. Wow, it's definitely windy. 
definitely windy, so sorry for that, guys. But this is really cool. Like an old school race car. That's awesome. And look at the purple on that one. That is a nice metallic flake on the Camaro. Hey! What's up, buddy? Street scene, what's up, dude? How's it going? It's going well, it's going well. Troy, I need a windsock like he, you have. He, he, you know, everybody makes fun of it. That's Your dead cat up there. I know, I'm stuck to it. You guys gotta check out Troy's video to see how I have to try to walk around so I can try to make decent content. You know, I, I will give you credit. You do a pretty good job for somebody who does, has a GoPro. Just a GoPro? You know, like you hit 900K, right? I'm well, thank you. So, I appreciate Mike your kindness. Hits, if, you, if you're living under a rock, right, you know this guy. There's Nobody only one person I can know that can take a GoPro uh -huh. and just get to where you're at. Dude, I've pulled it off for and a long time. And then the second piece of this, I tell people, <laughs> is like, there's only one person I know that can buy like a $1,500 Blazer. Uh huh. And just turn it into the most prof profitable investment right. in the world. And it's YouTube still trending page with the fifteen hundred dollar blade. I was, pro I was videos, proud of myself. Out of all the videos <laughs> you've ever done, the fifteen hundred dollar blazer that still runs, still, still runs. Still runs. I just said at, at your house was like it's the Top Gear Toyota. Of, of it is. Dude, I can't kill it. I'm of the Top Gear Toyota of Harrisburg. I tell people I'm like out of all the things I said I would try to buy. I'd buy a. a $3,500 blazer, uh -huh. I'd get no views. That's what somebody else said. They were like, what, the next one you buy will break immediately. And I was like, oh, I know. I've, I've used him. up my entire lifetime of good luck on this blazer. <laughs> and it's kind of sad. Like, so at the end of the day, there's one person I know that can pull all this off. And it's this guy right here. So if you're living under a rock, people, which I'm sure you've heard of, heard of him. Perhaps. Well, always a fun day at Cars and Coffee, and uh, yeah, keep an eye out like on Instagram um, for the next one. Should be like next month, and we have a great time. It's put on by the local police department, and uh, it's just a great, great meetup, and it's a great chance if you ever wanted to meet me, come out, say hi, and whatever. Very, very relaxed atmosphere. Uh, but anyway, now we are moving on to the Blazer, and uh, it's time. It's time to turn a corner on the Blazer build. It's no longer going to be just a you know, ridiculous how much abuse can this stock blazer take? Uh, we are actually going to build it. So I am gonna rebuild the trans. Uh, I do believe at this point, there is something very wrong with it. Now it could be a small mechanical thing. Uh, that could be the case. It could be like a sensor or, you know, whatever. But I think I'm pretty sure the trans is cooked uh, after literally being cooked uh, with off-roading. And then after that, driving it with like no transmission fluid and <laughs> still just abusing it and sending it, I think I actually like really broke the transmission because it will not, you know, it has not fixed itself like it did before uh, and the truck will not shift out of second gear. I got first and second, I got nothing else. I've tried about everything I can do and I just can't get it to work. Um, so I'm going to rebuild the trans, figure out why four low is not working. Once that is done, I'm gonna re-gear the back. So I don't know what the stock gears are in the back of that, I'm guessing like, like three, three something, or maybe like three, five gears, somewhere around there. Um, but I'm gonna go with, I think four tens, or maybe 
456 gears and that's going to really help with the trans as well and then also with four low working that should help too so we're going up tire size we're definitely going up from a 33 probably going to go up to a 37 and uh the trans is going to need all the help it can get for turning 37s so that's a pretty big tire bigger than what's on the duramax now it's going to be lighter and it's not gonna be as much wear and tear because they're not gonna be like stanced out, they'll be tucked in. I actually might go with a little less aggressive offset because they do stick out now. And, and anytime you have weight on the edge of the wheel bearing and everything, that's gonna put more stress on the front end components. Like having my tire out this far, it's not like centered. So all the weight is hanging off the edge and that's what really wears down everything. If you have, you know, a regular offset, and it's tucked in and the weight is really centered on all the parts it's not that bad even if you go up to like a really big tire it's not quite that bad it's having that weight hanging off this it's that imbalance that the parts have to make up the difference for in the weight transfer and all that that's what really kind of wears them down now of course on the blazer it's not nearly as aggressive but i think i'm gonna actually tone it down a little bit and maybe go from a, a two and a half inch backspacing to like a three and a half and that actually believe it or not that alone would help um, so I'm going 37s, probably going to do a six inch lift on the blazer. So it's a lot, like it's a lot to do. We got, we got a lot to do boys. We got to fix the trans, the four low, uh, do gears in the back, probably going to have to buy some stuff up front because those tires are like every time the truck goes airborne, which is like kind of funny to say that, but it happens a lot. Every time it goes airborne, those front tires just slap back and forth like a salmon. All in all, I'm going to be looking at about five, six grand, I think with labor to get everything where I want it to be. Actually with the trans, probably gonna be a little bit more than that. I'm looking at probably seven or eight grand. So I am gonna have to put some money into the blazer, but it's gonna be worth it because, you know, everybody loved the off-roading content and I wanna do that again. That was some of the most fun I've ever had in a vehicle. So I wanna do it, but I need to make the blazer more capable because, uh, you know, sending it is fun, just full send all the time, but it would be more fun if it was capable and could do more and uh you know climbing those rocks and everything i just can't do as it sits right now there's not there's some of those rocks like and you guys didn't even see the trail that i after i left like i bailed out thankfully i did but some of those rocks were insane i never would have made it like you can <laughs> you can make up for a lot with speed and just going for it but you can't make up for everything and i'm really excited to get the blazer uh into a a more uh capable setup casual weight reduction here for the blazer took out that headliner and the uh, plastic parts so it was probably about and some wiring so you know pro realistically probably about 20 pounds uh which every little bit helps and uh, i think that's about it now i might make up a bracket system for the seats and that way i can take the rear seat out the only reason i have the back seat in is because it's holding up my driver's seat if i didn't if i didn't need it for that i would have taken it out but anyway, I'm kind of rambling on here about all my plans, but the Blazer ain't going anywhere on the channel, but it is going to get a lot more serious. Now, I did think what would be fun is before I do that, uh, I wanted to go over because people ask this, the biggest question I get about the Blazer is how much money have you made off of it? And I think it'd be fun to see, you know, and I haven't tallied all the videos and everything yet. So I think it'd be pretty cool to like run it down and see how much the best investment I have ever made on the channel, you know, how well has it really done for me? And we're gonna find out. Just to let you guys know, before we dive in, I have uh, 1,500 in the truck. I have about uh, 3,000 bucks worth of parts and everything in it. And then like some miscellaneous stuff like the spray paint and the light bar and the snorkel and, you know, other little things like that. So I probably, I have right around I would say we're just gonna round up and say I got five grand into it. So my total investment in the Blazer, and it's really not even that much. But for the video, I'm gonna say five grand in the truck as it is right now. Everything after five grand is total profit. And here we got our handy dandy YouTube analytics page as you guys have seen before on the channel. If you have not, and you're not a, a person with a YouTube channel that's monetized, this is what it looks like. You can see what your videos are making in here and you can go to, I mean, there's a lot of different options. You can go down and see like demographics. So you can see massive sausage fest on the channel. Pretty much 100% male audience. Uh, and you can see like what country. So it's really cool. YouTube actually has some cool stuff to look at as far as all this is concerned. And you can go, there's different tabs. You can see all kinds of stuff, but this is just top 10 videos for the past uh, 28 days. And you can see with this video alone where I went off-roading, 
Now, this is a little bit different because it hit the trending page and it, it did really well. You know, it's got 440,000 views, which is really good for me. See, my average is kind of like 200,000 per video around there, like 200 to 250-ish. Um, and you can see that one did really well. 3,800 bucks alone in that video. Basically, that one video is about all I have in the entire blazer and the other ones that do well that people really want to see the craziness like I cut the roof off which a lot of people didn't like but look you can see why I did it because number one it's fun and number two it creates a stir which gets views and that's what your goal is to have fun and get views right so uh, the world's first convertible blazer 2400 bucks for that one hopefully you guys can see like any of this is in focus I'm kind of like all over the place um, but yeah, this is kind of a rundown. So you can see every video, and, and that one's a good one too. This one, the Chevy lift kit one did really well. But normally, you know, this is these are Jeep videos. Um, so that's 2,300 bucks. That's a Blazer video, 900 bucks. Um, this one, the painting video, 2,300, that did well. So they all do, they've done, I mean, the Blazer has done really well overall view, view wise, but not every one is like crazy. That's just a really good one for an example. Um, so I'm gonna go through and add all these up. And let me see, I, you, I can browse all content and you can see, so that's like the beginning of my channel, how to drive a stick shift with the most views. So for example, like my, that's my most viewed video of all time, probably the most watched, well definitely the most watched time because it's twice those views. Um, so like if I click on this, you can see the breakdown for this one video. That's for the last 28 days, but if we go to Lifetime, which is, where at? Where's Lifetime? Oh, here we go. Top right. Lifetime for that video is 10,700 bucks. So that's actually like not that good when you consider how many views it has versus that Blazer video, for example. But that's my most, uh, just kind of funny, my most viewed a video. I don't ever think I've looked at this before, but kind of neat to share it with you guys and see my, my most famous video. I get so many people saying about that, like, oh, I watched your how to drive a manual video and that's it. But you can see the breakdown of every video you want. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and pick every blazer upload. We'll go back here and uh, I'm going to add them up and we'll see. And I don't know yet. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's been doing so well view-wise lately, and my CPM is really good this month. Um, so we might very well, we might be around like 40 grand, something like that, that's where I'm gonna guess. So we'll start at the top, which is uh, attempting to drive the Army Blazer through an actual river. I'm not gonna do the 50 cal video, that one got demonetized anyway, and uh, you know, I just don't really care about that video. Um, all right, so that's $1,201 for that one. Let me get my calculator app out. Sad ending to the Blazer Rock Crawl, 1,447. The big boy entering the Blazer in the Jeep Rock Crawl, 3,830. Army Blazer is back, 1,641. You guys get the idea, et cetera, et cetera. I have to do this about 25 times. Spray paint, how the Army Blazer got its look. 2,312. Getting there, boys, we're getting there. It's taking me forever. I have to type in the name or like each video title and go back and look, but another 1,600 to add. We're getting back, we're getting back pretty far. We're almost there. Uh, and we're at 38 so far. What do you think we're gonna hit? I really don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting. I think I was a little low at 40, which is insane. I mean, think of it, this $1,500 blazer and people wonder why I love this content. It's so much fun, it's no stress, and it makes so much more money than spending a crap ton of cash on a supercar. It's great. To go back and look at the title, Blazer gets big wheels, wheels and tires, and then switch to lifetime, and do that. So it takes me a while, but I'm plugging away. The first ever Blazer upload Cheap project truck, back to my roots, 1,325. For a grand total of, are you ready? Grand total of, no, but nobody is ready. No, I'm not even, I can't even believe, believe this looking at it. 
$51,750 minus our five grand for the truck. So a profit on the Blazer of about 46, almost $47,000. That, that is nuts. And again, thank you guys so much. I had no idea that it did that well. Big thing for me, and really, I mean, it's easy to say like, oh, money aside, because money matters. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously money's important. Uh, it's my job. Now, a lot of that money, it's like, holy crap. But a lot of that goes into my other stuff. Like the McLaren is very expensive, but that's why it's been a drain and the, and the cars and like the drag build and doing all that stuff. That stuff is so expensive and this stuff isn't. And also, like I keep saying, like, you know, money aside, the stress level is really important too, because even though other stuff can make money, it's a lot of stress. And I love the fact that the trucks don't, I don't have to worry about them. I, all I do is focus on having fun and the Blazer has been so much fun uh, and it has done really well. So that's uh, actually pretty cool to see. Um, $51,000 in content, about 46, 47 grand in profit on the Blazer. And there you go. And now as we move into the next phase of Blazer ownership, um, we'll keep counting everything up and we'll see how it goes from there. There you go. I thought you guys might find that interesting. Uh, like I said, people ask me that, like at Cars and Coffee today, I had like three people come up, like how much money have you made on that Blazer? And uh, you can see the the real answer is pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.